Saturday's stage was the very last special of the Dakar. Goodbye to the mythical Rose Lake, Hello Rosario, town in the presence of Santa Fe, and as it so happens, the native town of Ernesto Guevara. On the menu today, there were some 227 kilometers stretching from Cordoba to Buenos Aires. In the bike category, it was Cyril Desprez who started out first. The Frenchman was soon followed by Marc Coma, the leader in the overall standings, hoping to conquer his second title on the Dakar. Like the two previous days, the KTM rider handled his bike well and kept his tyres out of trouble. He managed to hold on to his lead on Desprez, the title holder desperately trying to make up the time lost to Coma over the first three stages. But for once, the stage victory would not go to either Coma or Desprez. Two men were to battle it out for the win and for the fifth place in the overall standings. Heldo Rodriguez and Paul Anders Ulevalsider. Only 44 seconds separated the two riders before the start of the final stage, and in the end it was Portugal's Rodriguez who pulled through, winning his third stage victory in this year's race. He finished 2 minutes 7 seconds ahead of Ulle Valster and 2 minutes and 41 seconds ahead of Cyril Desprez. As for Mark Coma, he finished in 6th place, but his victory lay elsewhere. As predicted, he finished winner in the overall standings, 1 hour and 25 minutes ahead of Cyril Desprez. David Fretinier sealed third place with his Yamaha 450cc, one hour and 37 minutes off the Spaniard. In the car category, the only way Gignel de Villiers could be deprived of winning his first Dakar this Saturday would have been due to a mechanical problem. But he was still put to the test by BMW's Gerland Chichery. He was in the mood for showing off what his X3CC could do and took the lead at the first checkpoint, followed closely by the South African, who despite having victory within his grasp, still fought tooth and nail. Over the following checkpoints, it was Leonid Nowitzki who was to challenge de Villiers and the route certainly wasn't straightforward, but the leader of the overall standings held his ground with ease. He finished first, clinching his fourth stage victory in this year's Dakar and his twelfth overall. The Springbok has plenty to be proud of. He's secured his first Dakar title and has given Volkswagen their first win in the event. Second place Mark Miller also took the team proud, followed by Hummer's Robbie Gordon who finished in third place. Yesterday's stage winner Nani Roma only managed 10th place, finishing 17 hours and 30 minutes off the leader.